hello youtube hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to channel yasha solomon today i'm doing a reaction to the movie abigail official trailer um i don't know what this is um i i believe angus cloud the actor who played fezco and euphoria is it Fezco or Fez? I think I messed up his name. Fez, probably? Either way, he was in Euphoria, and he passed away. And I heard this was his last performance. It wasn't this. And I'm really interested in checking it out to see it because of him. Um, let's check this out. I hope you're all doing good. hope you guys are safe. As always, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel tremendously so three two one <clears throat> action seems like it's gonna be a scary movie looks scary Not really. what the freak okay it is scary you all came highly recommended you know the rules. No real names, no backstories. No He's a good names. actor. So whose kid is she? A very yep, wealthy man who's about to be $50 million poorer. I'm here to make sure you're safe. What's your name? Mine's Abigail. You can call me Joey. Do you have any kids? I have a little boy. See you in 24 hours. Do you know what a pinky promise is? If you behave and do as we say, like Pinky promise you, it'll all be over soon. Joey? Yeah? I'm sorry yeah. about what's gonna happen to you. What the fuck? Oh my goodness. What is this like a house on the hill? We gotta get out of here. I think she knows something. Guys? Guys? Guys! Oh, no! Yeah, what the fuck, what oh, the fuck is that thing? We kidnapped a fucking vampire. Vampire? A ballerina vampire. We'll need all that. Okay. How do we kill a vampire? What, what are we talking oh, about? Like no, Anne Rice no. or True Blood? You know, Twilight? Okay, no, 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 heart. no. Daylight is a big oh, one. God. All right. Why? Let's go. He had a good idea. Oh my God. He had a good idea. And here comes some stupid writer coming in. Let's just make stupid jokes. You need True Blood. It's like, why? That's not realistic. In a situation like that, no one's going to make cracking jokes like that. Can we just go back to making movies make sense? Like, okay, the premise is ridiculous, okay? Okay, it's kind of ridiculous enough. You don't need the characters to acknowledge that the premise is ridiculous. That's stupid. It breaks the immersion. It's like, okay, you can acknowledge it in the movies. Premise is ridiculous. So why are we watching this? If if you think it's ridiculous. It's like you're not even taking it seriously as a writer. You're just like, <laughs> true blood. And you don't. Why? And even the characters, how they're talking about it. It's nonchalantly. So how do we kill vampire? I don't know. You so you guys see vampires on the daily? Like the fuck? When the fuck have you ever seen a vampire in your life? Now you're just gonna just talk about it like yeah, you know, vampires. So how would you kill this thing, huh? Hmm? It's no kind of like shock and like and terror. Like holy fuck, this shit's real. What the fuck is happening? We're all gonna die. That would be more exciting. It's just that's more relatable for the audience. It's like no, it was an interesting premise. I was interested. Now it's all fucked because I'm stupid fucking idiot writer. And then we got to hear, hear about the SAG strike, and these writers need to get paid more for what? This? This stupid ass writing? This writing is this kind of, that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. What, choke black? Is that, is that? Oh, okay. <laughs> like, we never heard this joke. And how the like, music cuts, and then they have the, the, the silence. Like, that's the part where we're all supposed to laugh. It's like, oh my God, bro. This has just been done. It's like, what is this? This is me made by AI. Let me finish this trailer because I'm already. I was actually interested at first, and then I'm like, "Oh boy, damn!" Go kill us a fucking vampire. Ready? Vampire! What's going on, with boys? <laughs> it's 
the fuck? What can I say? What the fuck I is that? With my phone. Whoa, whoa, whoa! She's fucking flying! Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, oh my god. Why? Why? Who? Why? Why are we making these kinds of movies over and over? Why is horror turning into everything it has to be a fucking joke? Why does the Kim writers just take anything seriously? This is these scripts come out like a million times. It's like why? Why do you she's fucking flying? <laughs> this is the same type of writing we got what in that fucking Renfield movie? These are these these movies just feel like they're copies of the same movies with a gimmicky plot. Oh my god, and then watch this this type of movie, it probably would make a lot of money because people are so stupid to go see anything. That's the thing about the audience, too. There's some funny how some of the movies that are really good don't get any kind of word of mouth. But movies like this would get somehow, like, even that uh, Five Nights at Freddy's movie. It's like, I get it. You're fans of the game. But this movie sucks ass. <laughs> you know, like, I watched the gameplay on YouTube, Five Nights at Freddy's. It, the gameplay on YouTube is more interesting than the fucking movie. The movie literally just doesn't make any fucking sense and is annoying to look at. <laughs> And it's just weird how people just sit there, it's just a thing I like, and I like it, because they say it's just a thing I like. Same thing with Marvel and Star Wars fans. People just don't have to taste anything. Just zombies just stand there. It's good, because they say they created it. So, you're hating, because you know. Listen, I'm not hating, because you have, like, no taste. <laughs> and you're just, like, a sheep eating hay. <laughs> or, or, you know, like, just, uh, whatever, man. Let's just finish this. Is that a Muppet? Oh my god, this movie is just like a- it's just like an insult to your hey intelligence. Ballet. I fucking hate ballet. Oh, someone wrote that and they fucking were like, Yeah, I'm such a good writer, though. <laughs> we need to get paid more for this shit. <laughs> sag, uh, strike, sag, strike. And it's like, I, I don't- that's why I- I, it's like, I don't feel for these writers. Like, this shit sucks. You know, people might say, well, there's good, but yeah, I support those writers. And I think the industries need to cut off all these fucking writers, bat, like, really let them all go. They're not talented. You're bringing in a bunch of just hack ass writers that pretty much just copying and plagiarizing other stories and just taking gimmicky shit. Oh. And maybe the movie is good, and this is just this trailer is not put together well. Because sometimes this could fuck up the, the movie too, the trailers. But, like, just everything. Like, look at this. This doesn't even look bad. This looks bad, too. Like, this, that looks like a Muppet. Like, the way she's moving her around. I fucking look at how the legs are, like, like stiff and bent. Like, and how the arm is, like, twisted. Like, that, that looks like a, a Muppet. Ballet. It's like, bro. And then this. I fucking hate ballet. Why are we writing shit like this? Can we stop the James Gunn Guardians, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy humor, please? Why is everything have to be Thor, Love, and Thunder? Like, can we stop? It's, it's like, can we stop the Deadpool? Like, I, now I'm getting point. I don't even like Deadpool anymore. I'm just getting tired of the meta jokes and the fourth wall breaking San Francisco, California dry humor. Oh, I'm just like, ha, 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 wisecrack. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, so funny. Ha, ha, ha. Let me talk about the patriarchy. Ha, 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 ha. It's like, oh, God, this is such bullshit, lame shit. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. <sighs> I'm not watching this crap. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, may the force be with you. Peace and out.